think uh, Horn's gonna get married, Sarge. Yeah, and stay in this country because I love it so much. Well, Horn, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Good news is it's a nice day to get married. Bad news is you ain't getting married today. Y'all better sober up because we're moving out at first light. <laughs> Where, Sarge? Back to Hill 1000? Damn, that boy's psychic. Look, you're joking, huh? talking tour of duty season one episode 21 the hill this is the finale of season one and this one is directed by robert iscove and to me this particular episode i think stands out as one of the most memorable if not the most memorable of the season because this episode has uh i guess you would say it's a it's a fairly it's a fairly similar plot in a way to the movie Hamburger Hill. And the, 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 the plot with this particular episode is one of the most tragic in a way and, and senseless. So what we have, um, the, and the movie has a, a real different arc, I would say. Because we start the, the actual episode off with Goldman on a kind of holiday with his kind of girlfriend. Uh, you know, enjoying it. it's a very light episode to start off with, but then he sort of, then we get a scene, for example, with him dealing with another uh, kind of you know an unrelated sort of uh, soldier who is having dealing with a kind of a dear John situation, if you know what that means. So that was kind of a, a little bit of a more of a, a different type of dramatic intro. And then we kind of get into the story main here, and the, the crux of the plot is there is a particular hill. Um, that the the US want to obviously occupy, but then they give it back because their you know their their kind of plans have changed, and uh, it's the frustration from the soldiers' point of view of them having to take this hill. Now, at the beginning of the episode, they've already had to give it up once, and then we see um, that essentially the another another attempt, and then and then a second attempt as well. So. The third attempt is, is kind of our main one. And the episode really, at this point, focuses around Horn, who, in case you're unaware, is the kind of the, the war protester. And it's interesting because the first episode somewhat focused on Horn as well. So it's interesting that the, um, the last episode of this season also switches kind of the, the focus to Horn. And he finally essentially has enough and um, doesn't want to fight anymore because he feels like the the politics of the war are you know it's just getting to him too much and it's him ultimately refusing to obey orders and obviously the that then goldman and anderson have to then essentially reprimand him and say he's going to get court martialed but he refuses to do it but then ultimately he decides that he is going to help and uh you know at this point in the episode towards the end we find out that you know this particular character won't be coming back for any later seasons. Um, I think the the actual uh, episode to me felt like, felt like it had a real arc. It felt it felt it feels very cinematic to me. And this was one of the episodes that was actually released in the UK at least on video. Uh, it was bundled with with another episode to almost to be like a mini movie. And it was called Tour of Duty Three: The Hill. Um, and, uh, you know, back in those days, we didn't know it was an actual series. We just thought it was a few films, you know. But, you know, it's good to see that we do have characters who can get injured. It's the main characters who can get injured. Obviously, very much like a real war. People people get killed, people get injured. And just like this series somewhat reflects that. As we do how we know, this season we've already lost um, Rusty Wallace. We've already lost the Doc. And now um, Horn is ultimately kind of written out of the uh, um, the, the series as well in a maybe slightly different circumstances. Um, do I have any critiques? I think maybe the the end firefight could have been a little bit better shot. If I'm honest, I feel it's not a particularly well shot action sequence. Uh, I don't feel that we really see all that much. To be fair. And if it was the last episode of the season, I felt like it should have been a little bit more dramatic in its in its kind of like firefight sequence, ultimately. 
We do get a few nice little character moments, as I've mentioned the one at the beginning. We also get another kind of little uh, spotlight on a new, uh, a new guy who's bitten by a snake, and dies from a snake bite. And again, so we have some nice character moments within this episode, which really broadens this kind of the scale, I think, of this kind of series. Because we, we are, we have, you know, quite a few little different mini plots that kind of happen within this episode, more so than just kind of like a, you know, the, the kind of standard sort of story of the week sort of thing. So to me, this was one of the strongest episodes and certainly one of the most memorable because you do feel... The tragedy, really, when um, obviously these guys at the very end of the episode, spoiler alert, they have to give up the, the hill again after just taking it and after one of their one of our main characters. Because to be honest with you, Wallace and the Doc, although they were in the cast, they weren't in every episode. Hall always was. So he was really the first of the, the real main core group to be written out. Uh, but a great episode and um, a great way to leave off this kind of season. Um, and then obviously we went into season two, which was significantly different. And at some point we'll talk about that. But I love this episode, I thought it's very well done. Um, have you seen it? What do you think of this particular episode? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.